guys are you sleeping already wake up wake up wake up there is serious problem in biggie's house like the housemates are flaunting the rules left right and center you see this night i have not seen a night like this before guys hey jeez like this party <laughs> this night has been the best party ever like the i can't believe that i would see such drama this what happened this night i can't believe i could see such drama like three different dramas this night from this is housemates quarezo let me start i will start afresh i would just just from one drama to the other because i'm not going to jump any if you are sleeping wake up or if you're still awake let's just together because i'm sure there are some persons that are awake here that are sneaking around like me because we all know what happens when the housemates are high now ebuka has achieved his aim yes so mission accomplished in ebuka's side tick because guys there is drama do you know this drop of drink on ipeleng's mouth really is a problem as ipeleng is really drunk like Ipeleng was crying, crying for miracle. Meanwhile, before we continue, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Please, if you have not, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because that's how you get the gist. As the hot, you know, there's no sleeping on a bicycle in this channel. If you snooze, you do what well, you lose. Now, guys, back to the gist. <laughs> Ipeleng got drunk. That drink that, drink that Ebuka dropped in her mouth. Too. Ipelen got drunk. Kanaga Jr. has been running from one angle to the other for this housemate. All the housemates are messed up. Like messed up. Okay, let's start with Ipelen's own. Ipelen got drunk. As you see her, she was unclad, like she was naked. Because the, the, the camera captured her and then zoomed up immediately. She was having a, a G-string pants on. Do you understand? Kanaga was helping her remove the ring and everything. She was crying for miracle. Because the camera zoomed on them when... Kanaga was telling her that miracle is here, miracle is here, as in that, uh, claiming that he is miracle, just to make her calm down, you know, she was just crying, you know, miracle, miracle, like, Kanaga Jr. has been running from one center to the other, if the show would not be ending tomorrow, I am sure people would be saying he is doing it from, for the camera, people would say he is doing it to show off, and the show is ending tomorrow, and he has been running around, guys, Kanaga Jr. has been running around from one end to the other, I can't they wonder, whether he not drink like other housemates, it is, so, he managed to put her to sleep. Then, another drama is Yvonne. Yvonne went to the head of house room to sleep. You know, out of all the whole housemates, Yvonne had not, have not had the experience in sleeping in the head of house room because she has not worn the head of house before, you know. So, she was sleeping in the head of house room. Kosi now wants to go and meet Big Brother, to so ask Big Brother about it. And Kanaga was not having it. Even if Kosi wants to go and ask Big Brother, Kosi would have to go and ask Big Brother first before Yvonne sleeping in the head of house room. But Yvonne is already in the head of house room. Do you understand? And Kanaga Jr. was stopping Kosi because Kosi was ringing the bell continuously. Ringing the bell. And Kanaga Jr. was dragging the bell with her. Kosi was like, leave the bell. They were just dragging. Seriously, guys, not be smart, you know. Not be smart in this night. They were dragging the bell. Kanaga told her to leave the bell. Kosi said she's not leaving it. You know, they were dragging, dragging. Kanaga was telling her that it is wrong for Yvonne to be there. That Yvonne is not meant to be there. That it, they should not, as in flounce Biggie's rule, you know. It, um, Kosi was like, she wants to speak with Biggie. They were dragging the bell. Kosi refused to give him the bell. Kanaga was like, I'm going to force this. So after everything, Kanaga Jr. now said, okay, fine. After he collected the bell from her, now put it all back. Well, later, Kosi was like, saying she's not having this, that she does not like it. How would he impose it on her? That he shouldn't force her, you know? Kanaga Jr. said, okay, fine. If you think this is cool, oh yeah, take the bell. Do whatever you want to do with it. Anything that comes out tomorrow, when you start regressing it, don't blame me. As at now, you are not in your normal state. I said you should give me this thing. You refuse. Okay, anything that happens tomorrow, it is left for you. Now, my problem is, I don't know how some viewers reason. Some people are saying Kanaga Jr. is taking this thing too far. That what is he trying to do? That he's now making this thing to an extent that Biggie will now want to punish the husband. I was not asking, are you guys okay upstairs? Like, why won't Biggie even punish the husband on the normal? Why are you people saying Kanaga Jr. is doing it to an extreme? I don't understand. So, after everything, Kanaga Jr. went back inside and started calling Yvonne's name from downstairs. Yvonne, Yvonne, Yvonne now replied, eh, what did happen? <laughs> guys. So Kanaga Jr. was now calling Yvonne from downstairs. Yvonne, Yvonne, Yvonne now answered, hey, what thing happened? He was like, you didn't hear me? Calm down, calm down. Yvonne was talking to herself. I am talking to my mic. 
I rather she say I'm hearing from my mic. I'm talking to my mic. I was like, hey, alcohol is a bastardized bastard. Do what is this one? You know. So after everything, Ivana went down. Can I gonna put her to her bed? You know. She was like, I'm, I want. I'm sleeping now. Can I said yes, you're sleeping now. Can I was holding her, you know, on her bed and she lied down there. She lay down there on her bed and later on she now said she wants to throw up again. Kanaga stood up again, ran. So now my problem is with the people who are saying Kanaga Jr. is doing too much this night. Like were you guys expecting him to watch, sit down and watch and the housemate flaunt Biggie's rose? And why are you guys saying that he is making it to an extreme so that Biggie will see it as a, as a force? Is it not a fault already? Is he the one to tell Biggie what to say as a fault or not? Like pe- now people are saying he is indirectly trying to find a way to disqualify the housemate. How? Somebody is trying to be good and you people are saying all that things. I don't understand. If you understand, they explain in the comment section. Make, make, make I get your own points because do you think what Kanaga Jr. did was right? He's trying to put the housemates in order. You know? So talking the third drama was Ebubu. Ebubu was staying was in this was in Santino upstairs before Ebubu came down. Next thing sat on the HOH chair and started sleeping. He is not the head of house or so nothing. Like the housemates started flaunting the rules because of the feel it is a day. A day to the finale. Do you want to tell me that other days they've not been drunk? Why did they not flaunt rules like this? No, why did they not flaunt the rules like this? That is what I want to know. For you people that are saying that this one, that one, that if Devon have not slept in Big Brother's um, HOH room before, then so if Biggie wanted her to stay there, Biggie would let the housemate to allow them. Big Brother has done that several to previous season that they should allow others to enter the room. For him not to say that, that means he does not want it. And you people are saying, trying to put the blame on innocent Kanaga that is trying to help. I don't like this kind of thing. Meanwhile, Earlier, before all this thing started happening, the housemates were having a speech, you know, after that Nelisa's cake, whatever. So, Tati was trying to have a speech. She was saying that she has stood up with Kanaga Jr. and then she was saved. That she's happy that it's not shippers. That she's happy that she is not shippers that, that is saving her. That she has her sunrise. That, you know, she was trying to make some motivational speak and she wasn't directly dissing Kosi. You know, when Kosi dictated that they talked on the end of that because she was trying to say, even if I did not win it tomorrow, even if I did not win it tomorrow, I really, I deserve this. I could make more than that money when I step out of this camera. You know, she was just saying some things, you know. So, I think Kosi dictated that some words are going out of bond, you know. She, Kosi now stood up and left that conversation, you know. I think Kanaga Jr. too, because at the point it was like she's trying to indirectly attack Kosi or Kanaga, and Kanaga Jr. Because Yvon said something that told her that, that Kosi, has been, Kosi and her have been starting back to back and they are saved, you know. So, something like that. So, she was not saying even if it is the head of house game she won that made her stay till now. That it doesn't still matter. That she has stood up with Kanaga Jr. and did not leave. Guys, there is too much drama tonight. So let me just read this from the, the social space. What happened was against Big Brother's rules. But I think Kanaga Jr. took advantage of the situation to make it look that bad for Biggie to get angry so that Kosi and Yvonne will be punished. Mind you, the two of them are his contenders now. Now look at what you are saying. Can you listen to yourself? What you are saying after the voting is over? How can you say Kanaga Jr. is doing that for Biggie to punish them? I don't know how some of us reason no. I don't know because this is getting me really pissed. How can you reason that way? How would you reason that way? This person said, Tandy Way said, say whatever, but Kosi intentions were clear though. She just wanted Yvonne to experience the HOH room because she is the only one who hasn't slept there. Yes, we are not saying her intention is not clear. Her intention is very clear. But why would Yvonne, why would Yvonne stay there without Biggie's, um, I don't even know. This thing is pissing me off. Without Big, Biggie's approval, why would Yvonne stay there without Biggie's approval? So because of his a day to the show and they are still in Biggie's house. Remember, I don't know who flaunts the rules and Biggie, I think in, the person came to the head of the room and Biggie warned the person that we know that you're, you're safe to the finale, finale but know that you're still in Biggie's house. Do not waste Biggie's time. Because now they feel they are against punishment or anything. It's not done anywhere, guys. You people putting this in on Kanaga Jr. is pissing me off. Right? I'm even appreciating the boy for helping out. Do you know how he has been running around this night? Vigro said, KJ, something. Yvonne is already going to get a strike for being in the HH room. KJ should have once let her to sleep in there and get a strike for something tangible. Now, guys, listen. Eh? Yes, if Yvonne would get a warning. Now, Big Brother knows the housemates are high. Yeah, 
So, but for Yvonne to have listened to Kanaga Junior in her in her drunk state, Biggie would still consider that. Do you understand? I don't know how you people see this thing, but anyways, if nobody recognized what Kanaga Junior did, I would appreciate him. He really did well. He really did well this night. I don't know how else you people are seeing it. It's just tomorrow this game is ending. And if people are acting like he is doing it for votes or he's doing it for something, I don't get. Ah! Now, wow, guys, watch, listen to this, my video. Let's analyze it together. Tell me what you think in the comment section. I will be there watching. Bye for now.